Are you guys ready for some girl chat? Yes. 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 So okay. ready. Wait, We're going to get Tam, right into it. You got to hit us with the shoulders in that dress. Come on. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, have you guys ever gone to a wedding and felt the couple needs to say I don't instead of I do? Uh, <laughs> okay, well, if so, you're not alone because according to a survey conducted by WeddingWire.com, 27% of the people they polled said they, they've attended weddings even though they thought the marriage was a mistake. Oh. So, ladies, speak now or forever hold your peace. Would you ever attend a wedding you didn't approve of? Uh, no, and guess what? I don't want nobody at my wedding that doesn't approve of it, that isn't sending good vibes and good energy and good luck. Now, I will say this. There is a difference between I approve of this versus... Um, there's a difference between thinking, like, are these people going to last forever? Are they soulmates? Do I think they're the perfect couple? And uh, I think this is utterly a wrong mistake. I don't approve. Like, when they go to say, uh, speak now, if I ever hold yeah. your peace, and I can't hold my peace, I shouldn't be there. Yeah. Okay. What well, is the difference? Like, if this person yeah. has been awful to her and it's like a beautiful, like, then I'm not attending no wedding that well, I don't I, agree I with. I mean, on in that my level. in my case, I've had examples where I've had friends that had destination weddings. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not about to spend all this money to go see you get married, and I know it's not gonna work out. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. If I don't approve of it, I'm not spending my money, extra money. Now, if it's local, yeah, I might go. But <laughs> but that's even different. No. Saying like I don't think it's gonna last. Which, you know, hey, they might end up being 25 years together. No, and what I have to say is the two people, and they know who they are, are currently not together. So I was right. So that's oh, it. Go. I didn't go. Okay, didn't so go. that's interesting. I don't, I How don't, did they handle it? wedding is supposed to be a support. You yes. know, that's I have a the reason question, why you though. invite people. I have a question, though. If Were any of these people really close to you guys? Yeah. Okay, so how did they handle you saying you're not going to go? They just had to handle it. Okay. <laughs> okay, like mine was different. <laughs> I went to a wedding that it wasn't that I didn't approve of it. Do I think that they're soulmates and they're gonna last forever? That's my opinion. My mm. opinion is different from disapproving and right. being like, I don't stand by this, I don't agree with it, I think it's wrong. Two different things. Now granted, if they go on and are married for the next 30 years, I'm gonna be so happy and I would feel bad. And now if I didn't go, I would have regretted that. Does that yes. make sense? Okay. You gotta, you gotta trust people's free will. Just yeah. because I don't agree with it and I don't maybe see the sparks that they feel, that's just my opinion. Right. That's not right. Yeah. That's One just my opinion. One thing I've definitely learned after going through a divorce and, and being where I'm at now, I've taken more seriously the attending of a wedding. And what mm. I mean is this. Yes, it's a party. Yes, it's something where you, you know, collect the favors, you throw the bouquet, but it's actually something much more symbolic. You are about to make history with yes. a couple for the rest of their yes. life. Right. And when I look, at, look back now at when I was going through hardship and our marriage really needed the community that kind of holds you down, talks you through mm. a ledge, like off the ledge, and, you know, just supports you and more with you, I look and I see those true people out there. You guys are really out there, the ones that stood by me in my wedding and really oh. stood by me in life. Oh. Those are the people you want in your That's wedding. Awesome. That's awesome. Because you're supposed to be witnesses. Yes. Like, that That's is what the true. guests are. They're witnesses of... to a covenant that you're making. It with makes, God. It makes you think twice the... the people you invite. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with this okay. because. I don't, I feel like sometimes there are lessons that people have to learn, you know, on their own. Exactly. And if it was a close friend of mine and we had a conversation, I'm going to be 100% honest mm -hmm. with you. But at the same time, if she really wanted me there, I would silently support her. I yes. just, I wouldn't feel good in my soul not attending her wedding. I do know a person, you guys, who did this to a friend. Uh -huh. She did not approve of her friend's wedding. Uh -huh. She didn't go. Uh -huh. And actually, she's the one who got divorced, and her friend actually was at her wedding. So sometimes, did you follow me there? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. sort of. Kind of, sort of. Okay. It was the opposite. So it was the opposite. Yeah, her, so what I'm her marriage is didn't last. Sometimes we don't, we don't know. Maybe you may not approve, yeah. and hey, they really love each other, and they're going to work it out. Yeah, and that's yeah. what happened with it, my friend's couple. They're it, still together. I Opinion just and say approval this. is different. Yeah, but, but I want to say something, though. It depends, because a lot of times I got friends that have been married two, three, four, five times. I ain't got time to keep going to all those types okay, of weddings. That's, that's what I'm talking about, okay? okay? Yeah. Every week you get married. No, no I'm yeah, not no, about to spend, different. you know, but it's like yeah. when you're young or it's your first wedding, your second, whatever, you know, but there some women they do and, and men 
They get married just to get married. For sure. And th- to me, that's not right. And don't put me in your business like that. You know what I mean? I don't want to be a part of that because I know, I'm telling you, I know when it's not going to work. And I'm not going to tell you it's not going to work because I do want you but to be you happy. But you did, though, by, but not, by not showing up. That's, that's your a silent big protest. It, that's, yeah. it, and I saved me a lot of money, too, <laughs> by not spending money. Yeah. Okay. So, Lonnie, Lonnie, you're I saying this right now. Lonnie's literally like, I know it's not going to work. So... How do you know that it's not going to work? What are some of the signs that yeah. you see that you're like, this ain't going to work? For me, yeah. when I'm looking at my friends yeah. or even myself, yeah. it's like the way they got together. I, don't, I probably have went out with them. Mm-hmm. With, with these particular women, two women, I went out with them. I went out with their significant others. You could tell the things that was happening. And it was too much drama, everything. And in the end, it's like sometimes people are embarrassed to say, you know what, I need to take a step back. Maybe this is not going to work. Don't be embarrassed because a marriage is a legal contract. Yes. People forget about yes. that. And if you involve kids in it, oh if you gosh. involve money, properties, things yes. like that, it can become a bigger headache. So you have to be careful about who you marry. You yes. do. Absolutely. It, for my I pastor question, said, should I be embarrassed now or be embarrassed later? Exactly. My exactly. pastor said it's one of the toughest decisions that you'll have to make, but you got to make sure it's the right decision. Yeah, so course. don't take it lightly. Now, have you ever been to a wedding where they say, you know, forever hold your peace and somebody be like, excuse me, have you ever been? No, no. Because I, I have. Like, I want to be at one. What happened? Ooh, Tell us. It was drama, right? <laughs> it's not the two girls. It was another one. It's a long time ago, right? And yeah. so he was like, anybody here? And it was the other woman that stood up. <gasps> I was like, what? Ooh, it was drama. I had my church fan and stuff. I was like, uh oh. And what happened now for this? I don't know what officially the thing is, but what happened at this wedding was that the pastor took the three of them back into oh, his office that's and smart. had a conference. Okay. Yeah, because she was like, no, and she was talking, and I was, we were like, <laughs> oh my god. Were there any? Oh, wait, did the, I hope did they the wedding had some drinks did, while people were sitting around yeah, waiting for them to figure it out? They went back and had a conversation. But did they? Did they continue the wedding? And then after they had a, it was about twenty minutes, so it was something going on. Yeah. At about twenty minutes, they they kicked the other one out, and then they went on and had their wedding. I ain't never see, seen nothing like that. This is the type of thing I wish I could see. I've been to a wedding where. What? This is a crazy story. I went to a wedding, actually, where um, the, the, the groom was standing there, and actually the bride decided not to get married. Uh-huh. And they came out together as a front, like a united front, oh, wow. and they made an announcement and just said, look, we don't think we're ready for this. Everything was paid for, so let's have the party. Oh, hell no. Yeah. I want a refund. Yeah. No. 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 You, didn't, you still got to celebrate yeah, with them. You they just said they anyway. weren't ready. I probably bought a dress, new shoes. I probably put some it's money in an party? envelope somewhere. I want it back. Did they party? No. Did they, they party together? By the, by the way, the crazy thing is they actually stayed together. They're just not married. Wow, so they're still together. They're still yeah, together. they was having they're a little... They're just not married. This... Uh, they were very young, and I think they actually made a really wise decision that they wanted to live a bit more. Right. They both traveled now. They, they travel together, which... It's like, y'all are married. Y'all just didn't... And yeah. they had a big party. They just didn't feel comfortable signing the paperwork. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. I, yeah. It's some I, interesting yeah. things with weddings, really. Yes. Anything can happen. You never know. I want to go to some of Lonnie's know. weddings. I feel like they got drama. <laughs> I know. They yes. drama. It's a novella at Lonnie's <laughs> wedding. Okay. Well, no one wants to be left at the altar or stood up on a date. No. But Cosmo Magazine says that being stood up is the best thing that could ever happen to you. Why? In fact, they shouted out some girls who handled being stood up like a boss. For example, there's Mimi Black, who after being stood up, decided to go on a fly date with herself and went on a shopping her. spree instead. Good girl. Good job, Heard Mimi. That. And 17-year-old, yes. High school student Zia, after being stood up by her prom date, decided to go solo and slayed it That's instead. Right. Look at you that. Kill it. Right Heard there that. in the center. Wow. So have you ladies ever been stood up by anybody before, or have you stood up somebody else? Oh, long ago in the archives. Long ago. I stood up. Okay. You, did, <laughs> you, you stood, stood someone up? Else? No, I got stood up. Yeah. You know, and I always remember that because I remember how it made me feel, but I needed that because that gave me the blueprint of dating and how if you just don't want to go out with somebody now, I let them know because yeah. a person, you know, you prepare for a date. For you, sure. you know, you, you getting yourself together, you putting on your clothes, you taking a shower. You prepare you know, your heart too. You, know, you get in yeah. the car yes. or, you know, you get a ride to get there. So that's, you know, that's a lot. It's time and it's money. So I remember how that made me feel. Plus, it's the hurt. I'd rather have the hurt feelings now than have the hurt feelings. Feelings late. Amen. So, yes, that's, I remember that. That's what I said. I said 
I've personally never been stood up, but I would be grateful for that because you just got the... The, the answer you needed? I was going to say a <laughs> word that I cannot say on daytime television. Oh. You got the <laughs> sign, the omen, the whatever out of the way. You know the what whatever? I mean? Realizing that he's not a good person yeah. out of the way. Ah. Yeah. And I say he's not a good person because I think it's cowardly. It's not truthful. It's dishonest. It is not a stand-up guy. Like, you're a, That sounds funny. If you not stand, stand somebody up, up you are not, not a stand-up stand guy. guy. But the guy called me, the, you know, of course that's he called nice. me the next he, day. No, the that's next day. Nice. He tried to come up with an excuse. Exactly. No, cause, you know, because that's what people usually do when they stand Terrible. you up. They come that up with didn't another excuse. To me. What they happened? Didn't, he never called me. <laughs> what happened? He no, y'all. Throw you, boo -boo. Yeah, I got stood up. What happened? Wait, what? So, to make a long story short. Uh-huh. It was when I was like 21. Right. And I met him at a Soul Train Music Award. Do you remember Soul Train? Of Soul course. Soul um, Train. After party. He actually was a Puerto Rican from New York. Damn. He a celebrity? Wait. No, he wasn't was a celebrity. And I'm not going to say his name because he doesn't deserve it. That's right. Um, you going to tell me later, though. I, I, I will, but... Uh, <laughs> We met in LA, and then uh, obviously he he lived in New York. I did a Essence magazine photo shoot, and uh, I we were talking, and then we kind of like had a uh, long distance relation. Well, it wasn't even a relationship. Long we you were talking. We were talking. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Long distance. Yes. Right. Okay. So I met up with him one time. I thought we had a great time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we we had lunch. Um, he ah. met my sister, and then I went out to. Then I came back. He home. even met family. He met. He met my sister. Um, my sister didn't like him. She knew what was up. Okay. Um, That's a twin tuition. Yes, absolutely. Then I flew back to LA, and then the Essence Awards happened. Uh, maybe a couple tray. of weeks. Uh, Essence Awards. So okay. this is something Award. different. Okay. Um, and then we were supposed to meet up. And I stayed in New York for like two weeks with my sister and my cousin Ooh. to maybe, you know, like date a little bit more. And he would never answer his phone. <gasps> yep. He had a See, girlfriend. So no, he just I found ghosted out, you. He ghosted me. And what happened? Okay, you guys, I didn't hear anything after that, uh, it was like five years until I heard something. What? And I heard actually from his sister because she followed me on Twitter and she was like, hey, look, I just want to, you know, apologize for my brother. Um, he had a baby mama and he went back to his baby I mama. I told you? Yeah. I told you. Yeah. This yeah. is like the oracle right here. <laughs> yeah. Tell us what's going to happen. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That okay. feeling is horrible. Wait. How many I did years later like did the sister tell you that? It was five years. Like five years. And what did you say back to her? I was like, oh, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. I mean, I had already moved on. Yes. But, I mean, y'all know me. That broke my heart. I mean, yes. I didn't handle it like a boss. I was like, The right. thing about Tam, for sure, and Jeannie, you know this, is she'll be like, but what, why? What, what did what I was, do? What did I right. do? Yeah. What was wrong? Like, did it. I say something wrong? Yeah. Like, I thought was it was me. Yeah, and it's not but you. you. Know it was the crazy baby mama most, you didn't yeah, want to get in trouble exactly. with. Exactly. Most of the time, if somebody is standing you up, it's a reason, okay? Yes. And it's yes. usually not you. It's not that they don't like you or they wouldn't have asked you out on a date in the first yes. place. And I learned that rejection is God's protection. Yes. Exactly. I'm so grateful. Yes. Exactly. But I just wish I would have handled it a little better. Yes, yeah. But I just started dating. I'm a late bloomer. Right, So then to get stood up right. and you fly across country, yeah, that's nah, that was a look. You, you, you needed me in your life because I would have told you, yeah. no, you ain't getting on no plane for you, him. You <laughs> say that though, but that makes me see that that's how consistent your character is, Tamara. Yeah. Like I always say that you really know a person. She when was they, putting effort into this. You that's know, her. that's what I'm saying. You that's why you person. gotta be truthful in the first place. Now you done pissed me off. I'm mad. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? <laughs>